What's up guys? Alright, finally this is time. This is the last video uh, before we start the car. So in this video I'm going to open this here. I'm going to remove the um, cam and crank signal conditioner. Uh, which is a VR conditioner. We're going to remove that. We're going to also change some jumpers inside the board. Um, and we're going to configure uh, everything we need to configure on Tuner Studio. We're going to do that together. I'm not going to be able to start the car tonight uh, because it is late and this is loud. But tomorrow um, I will need to find some help. I need to crank a few times, remove the fuel pump. Uh, and get the timing correct just to be sure well we're gonna you need to watch the next video for that but for in this video we're gonna finally uh, configure this thing be sure that everything is fine alright guys so there are a few things we gotta do first thing we need to do is take four uh, screws from this side and four screws from that side alright so first thing is use a screwdriver don't use um, what I use the drill because I end up stripping a couple bolts. Um, so open this. Oh, that's cool. So this was a little upgrade. I think they did. Um, I don't believe the first ECU um, had this feature. So this is good because I wouldn't need to remove uh, both sides. But since I did, I'm gonna remove the whole uh, ECU so you can see. So. This is the uh, VS conditioner, the conditioner for uh, the cam and crank signal. Uh, this here is the map sensor, which is 2.5 bar, um, unless they upgraded, still 2.5 bar. So here um, are the jumpers, so it tells us um, 1, 2, 3, 4, pull up and so on so what happens here is we're gonna get this thing here uh, so the DCS so you see the DCS is pointing outside you take it out try not to touch any of the circuit just in case you have like static or something um, here uh, I'm trying to read to see if there is any indication or something, but uh, but definitely we need just to move this out. Uh, jumper two and jumper three. Um, it says di direct or TCS. So what we do is we get these two jumpers here and move them up. And we get this. Uh, Japanese artifact. There you go. Um, up. Let me see if there is any. The other one had it was saying hall or something else, but um, yeah, it's fair enough. Um, it says direct or TCS. Uh, so we're going to use direct and here we're going to use pull up. So you see those two here on the bottom. I'm going to try to zoom and see if it doesn't get foggy. So those two we move from the two bottom to the two first ones. And those here if you see it's hanging uh, in just one of them. So I'm going to take it out and just plug it. You need to be sure this is a hall um, signal, a hall sensor for the cam and crank, and then you're good to row. Um, so this is one, and now we have the Bluetooth. So since we are here, I'm going to install the Bluetooth, and there's a jumper also that goes outside. So if you don't want the Bluetooth enabled, you just take the jumper off. So. Um, it's a very good addition since you don't need to worry uh, and comes with this little harness here so the main thing you need to look for um, is so you see here red and black we're gonna try to find VCC and ground which is right here and T 
XD and RXD and there's two um, leftovers on the sides and now it is somewhere around here and okay okay five volts is on this side here so five volts is on the outside you just plug this I know that my red is VCC and then it keeps going same order so that is that uh, now you have so when you put this back in there we need to tape this down so when you get the back of the ECU so you take this here it's on the last level um, they made a little entry part in here so this board goes right in there now we don't even need to tape anything um, yeah they did very very cool upgrades uh, from my last board which it wasn't too long ago so I'm not gonna sweat too much because um, it's all isolated and everything so it's, it's all good Let's put the cap on. There you go. Let's be sure to put this bottom part. Yeah, now we just put the all the uh, little screws back in there. And it's good to go. We have Bluetooth. Um, we have the uh, conditioner card removed, so I'm gonna save this here for the next ones, for the next builds I'm gonna do. I have a new car coming, and um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna use this again. You guys are gonna love that car. So anyway, I'm gonna put the, the screws back in here, and then we're gonna go to Tuner Studio. One more thing before I forget, if you look in here, there's there are all the connectors. The last two, there are two pins, and if you just put the little jumper on that pin, you see there's a jumper here. Take it out. So if the jumper is there, the Bluetooth is working. If the jumper is not there, the Bluetooth is not working. On Tuner Studio, we're gonna do a few things. So first, we're going to go to um, settings and engine constants be sure that your injector is correct uh, here is 1997 i don't know why i changed to well actually it's 1996 i think cid is 122 but uh, i'm gonna leave uh, 1996 it's a four cylinder this is size of my injectors uh, and this is the air fuel ratio that we are gonna leave here 14.7 um, that done you gotta have a number it's like between three and seven depending the size of your injector uh here we're gonna leave map two squirts per cylinder uh this is all correct i believe it's all default uh here instead of paired is sequential and the reason is paired is going to not going to work for us and sequential is just going to uh, inject one injector at a time of course on a sequence one two three and four uh, the only thing is we need to have a cam signal and the eclipse has so we're good to go so this is good here now we are going to trigger setup uh, you gotta be sure that you have here dsm 428 if you don't have this option uh, this was added on 202008 um, so we gotta use the speedy speedy loader speedy loader so we gotta download speedy loader and it's going to get the version for you and install in your ecu and all that stuff um, here i read that it should be rising i'm gonna leave it rising um, but we're gonna figure it out if it's wrong or not um, uh, now we go to spark and spark settings and we're gonna 
whatever you have here you change to uh, wasted spark it's going to spark on uh, one and two so it's just what this is doing is just cutting the number of cylinders in half so if you get this in here uh, waste spark is just is going to use the number of channels and get half of it so if you have four cylinders it's going to have one and two so good to row uh, this I'm going to put glowing high um, so let's see worst can happen is I can burn my uh, coil pack and also this I also read that was like this there's nothing related to Speedwino itself um, but <laughs> Yeah, I it, I guess it's similar enough to um, Mega Squirt, not quite, but using the same software, so the menus are the same. Uh, in here, remember that I connected a VSS on the um, the input, the extra input one. So I'm gonna get here the v the VSS, um, and I'm gonna leave pulses per mile uh, board default. So the port the um extra port one is analog eight and extra port two the input extra input one is analog eight and input uh extra input two is analog nine um i guess when we are driving we're gonna calibrate this year go to 60 miles per hour and hit this button and it's gonna do something i'm not quite sure yet what but i think we're gonna get speed and all that stuff so yeah I guess uh, this is all good to go. Uh, my tuning, I got the AFR from uh, my 2JZ, but I guess uh, this is pretty much um, default, right? You want to have a, a richer mixture uh, once you are on boost, and you have a, a linear mixture when you are not on boost and low RPM. So it, uh, it adds gas to the right and up right so we uh we are changing that uh also the ve table i got something like that so it's a good starting point for us um and only multiply with a barrel not afr barometric uh map and stuff so i don't want to mess with afr or anything i want to leave the way it is and one more thing there's injector characteristics here and you want to be sure that you have that <clears throat> somewhere and you can uh, define like what is your injector open time in milliseconds and according to the voltage you want to know what's going to do but I mean apart from that um, there's no much uh, we need I'm not going to connect the ECU which is right here as you can see um, because it's using the same port uh, apparently it's it's a uh, it's a drama if you're using uh, one usb and then you try to use the other one um, then you kind of get lost so i am using the microphone on the port that i should connect this so once we are done i'm going to connect i'm going to burn all of this in here and just plug in the car and we should be good to go I just forgot a couple of things really quick um, here on spark we have the dwell settings um, this is what I read and this is what I'm going to do so wait for me to start my car uh, cranking is 4.5 some people put 7 on a cranking I'm gonna leave 4.5 running dwell some people put three and a half I'm gonna leave three and spark duration uh, I've seen 0 0.5 0 0.7 uh, but I'm gonna leave one so this is my configuration on uh, dwell settings and I'm using the OEM coil pack. The other thing is we have the engine protection. Where is it? Here, engine protection, it's under tuning. And you wanna be sure that we are cutting a spark after uh, 8,000 RPM um, and the cutting method is full. So, this is one uh, rev limiter i'm doing soft rev limiter at uh, 7200 rpm and here is relative so i'm saying whatever um 
whatever I have in here on my spark table, right? Let's say that I'm right here. Uh, it's going to drop two degrees. So if I have 17, it's going to drop to 15. So we're going to experience some loss of power. Um, and this is going to last for two seconds. And my hard rev limiter at 8,000 RPM. And here I'm saying boost cut at uh, 220. So I guess a, a good way to uh, uh, protect yourself while you're boosting, you can change the this guy here to 140, for example, and start tuning everything and, and all that good stuff. So when you floor it, it's going to go straight to 140, might go a little higher, and then it's going to drop software drop all the way here so um, I mean it's always good if you have a, a, a boost pressure regulator and then you can take the pressure out of there and see how much boost you can heat and all that stuff and that's pretty much it guys this is it for this video um, I'm super excited this is late now so I won't be able to start the car but tomorrow um, everything is burned into the engine the, into the ECU so we just plug the ECU in the car and I did well watch watch the next video um, it's gonna come in two days so um, yeah don't forget to subscribe hit the little bell button if you have any comment to do uh, or, or any comment to make just make a comment down here um, there is a guy that I've been following and I, I talk about him like every video because uh, I, I research his stuff a lot and he makes comments on my videos so I think uh, yeah, he, he has very good knowledge about Speeduino. Um, it's DC W E R X. DC works. Um, DC W E R X. Check out his channel. Subscribe to his channel. He's a pretty cool dude. And that's pretty much it, guys. And you know how it goes at the end of every video. I'll see you around.